thank you all for coming. This is uh, a moment of particular joy and uh, ex exceptional privilege to me. Uh, I'm sure you all know, you're all here, so you all know what the new residence program has been, project has been. Uh, back in 1998, D. Evans and I had an idea for uh, an anthology. The uh, pretty new startup Red Moon Press, less than half a decade old, <clears throat> had done a couple of anthologies, but it, we had an idea that, you know, there's a lot of poets out there who are really, really good, but because there's such a sparsity to the way that haiku publication appears, I mean, I might have something in modern haiku, I might have something in Frogman, I might have something in, well, Parents Nest didn't even exist yet. All these far flung things, I, I may have a lot of publications, but they're all over the place. And it was really hard in those circumstances to get a sense of voice from any particular poet. You got individual snapshots, but you didn't really get a collective voice from any particular poet. So the idea that we came up with was there's so many good young poets that we really like to feature who don't have a book out yet. So there's no place to get this voice. What if we created a venue where we could gather the, these voices and uh, gather the poems for each of these poems, put them together in an anthology, and see how that went? And we thought of it as a one-off. It's like, it's, there's a lot of people we'd like to feature right now. Let's, let's do that. It was a hit. Everybody really, really enjoyed being in, in, the, in the volume, and other people really liked reading the volume. And so we said, well, let's do another one. Two years later, we did another one. By that point, we started thinking about this group of poets, not as a group of poets, but as actually a community. And the New Residence community has grown in that time. We have just released our 11th volume. We have members of the 11th uh, volume here who will be reading, and you've already seen their kaleidoscope reading, which amounts to 185 poets that have now been represented. Uh, it's an amazing thing. In 2009, in Ottawa, we had a new res reading. We had this kind of gathering. And it was, I think, a tremendously moving experience. Not just for the new res poets, but for all the poets. Um, in part because it was a, an opportunity to gather all our names together and all of our poems together and remind ourselves of those voices. So I'm delighted that we've been on uh, a lot, a lot of time to do a second you know, as reading it out it will be a tradition that continues on going forward there are a couple things that we need to do because we are short on time when we did that first reading we had at that point five volumes out so we had many fewer po uh, poets and at that time they could read five or six poems and things went fine now we have 185 poets to represent we have an hour and we're running late <laughs> what we'd like to do, and, and as a consequence, there are some things I'd like to ask uh, the poets who will read here today to do as well. We have one camera. We'd like to make sure the whole thing gets filmed. So at the end of this, uh, I'd like to ask you to come back after the memorial reading and before you go to lunch, back into this room, and I will film you individually. Uh, I think that's a better solution than trying to zoom the camera around uh, as we as we proceed, it will also allow us to move a little bit more readily uh, through the through the 185 names that we have to get through. <clears throat> the way that we're going to do this is uh, we're going to read. We're going to go alphabetically by by last name. I did get a request that we go alphabetically by last name in reverse. That was by Joan Zimmerman. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I feel for her, but unfortunately, we're not going to do that. Uh, what I'd like to do is, if a poet is present, uh, a new res poet, uh, I'll read his or her name. Uh, they will stand up and they will read two or three poems. Uh, I will also announce what, what issue that they came, what volume they came out of. If a poet is not present, we will represent them with a single poem, and Julie will be reading those poems. So, no further ado, 
I'd like to start with a tribute poem to D. Evans. D. Uh, is a long time uh, resident in my house. Uh, he lived with my partner Maureen and I for 13 years. He has just moved back to the UK. Uh, he's been in Cambridge now for about four weeks. Um, so he's not here with us. Um, he and I would sit around the kitchen table, literally would sit around the kitchen table with little snips. I mean, we, we would get hundreds of submissions from maybe 50 poets, put all that down to our selected uh, uh, 50, 17 poets, and then we would cut up the poems and start moving them around on the table. And we'd have that pile and that pile and that pile. And so that was our process for a long time. That process has changed because now Julie is the new uh, co-editor. And, and I do not live with Jim. <laughs> So that's the process, and uh, so Dee and I, and then, then afterwards we would go back and forth on how do we point this, how do we, how do we write the, the little blurb that we do that characterizes the voice, because the, the volume has always been about voice. How do we characterize the voice for this poet? Um, and for those of you who are familiar with the, the New Res uh, format, you'll, you'll know that that's always been a feature of, of uh, how we present it. Um, <coughs> So, without further ado, I'm going to start with a poem by D. Evans, and this is, he was never a new poet. This is a book, uh, poem from his book, uh, uh, and Brain. Thunder, my wood shavings roll along the veranda. First poem, Scott Abeles from New Res 10. The first bite is all I want, wild pear. <laughs> Mary Frederick Ahern, New Res 10. Autumn rain, deeper and darker, the taste of tea. <clears throat> Melissa Allen, New Res 8. Firefly, knowing I'll never be able to prove it. Mike Andrelchik, New Res 8. In the fridge, a lone bottle of white milk, the potato, and light. Debbie and Tebby, New Res 11. All those changes to stay the same bonsai. <laughs> Susan Antoine, New Res 7. It must have been the onion that started it. Evening rain. Psych ward. Out in the night air. My turn to fall apart. Curriculum vitae. All the years that went missing. Joseph Salvatore Alessano. He read a letter. Calling into my dream, warning birds. Annie Bagany, New Res 1. Cat in the garden, untangling twilight. Deb Baker, New Res 4. Candlelight, your voice moves into shadow. Stuart Baker. New Res 9. Another talk that's only in my head. Summer rain. Francine Manworth, New Res 5. We let the wine breathe. Slow moving clouds. Colin Barber, New Res 5. Another first date. I fail again to be myself. <laughs> Janelle Barrera, New Res 5. At the Poetry Guild, they ask if haiku is all I have. Certainly not any of the rest of us. That experience, right? Jack Barry, New Res 3. 
New Year's morning, starting the fire with last night's coals. Robert Bauer, New Reds 5. Autumn sunrise, the scent of sage lingers in the prayer lodge. Roberta Beery, New Reds 2. All day long, I feel its weight, the unworn necklace. Brad Bent, New Reds 9. Autumn sunset, a cardinal spits out the husk. Tadpole Pond, a man holds on to his son's ankles. Sunset, an olive stone rings the bowl. Johan Bergstadt, New Res 10. Spring sun, my boy tells everyone the same secret. <laughs> <laughs> Johannes S. H. Joy, New Res 8. Sandalwood, I perfume the invisible one. Mike Blomberger, New Res 10. Winter Zoo, a gorilla turns its back to the crowd. <laughs> David Boyer, New Res 5. Wisteria, the U if you stay. Mark Brader, New Res 10. Without a word, the morning glories. Alan S. Bridges, New Res 7. Tai Chi class, the slow curve of a train's whistle. Helen Buckingham, New Res 5. Dozing by the radio, another hottest day. <laughs> Alan Burns, New Res 6. Distant Virga, the ranch dog's eyes, different colors. Sandra Burns, New Res 10. Wool snagged on a pasture fence, my maiden name. Yvonne Catalona, New Res 3. Summer Solstice, the cat asleep in the darkest room. David Caruso, New Res 8. Holy War, Death by Ancient Literature. <laughs> Paul Chambers, New Res 11. Goshawks cry, deep under the snow, the road turns. Yu Chang, New Res 1. Gathering light at the tip of an acorn, yesterday's rain. Joyce Clement, New Res 7. Nighttime in the hospice aquarium, the pulse of fish gills. Kirsten Cliff, New Res 8. Wind gust. The letter was not meant for me. <clears throat> Glenn Coates, New Res 6. Swallows at dusk, the way her hands propel the story. Kathy Lepard Cobb, New Res 3. Spring sky. The unfocused stare of a newborn. Pamela Connor, New Res 1. Heat wave. The grave digger lays his lunch on white marble. <laughs> Susan Constable, New Res 6. My umbrella changes its tune. Winter rain. Jennifer Corby, New Res 7. Scent of crabapple. I let the wind have its way. 
Aubrey Cox, you res eight. Yellow leaf, simply trying to stay afloat. John Crook, you res two. Summer solstice, the sun reaches a new place on the fridge. Michael Cross, you res two. Summer evening, the old windmill stirs the stars. Catherine Cudney, you read four. Sunlight through a snail shell and the snail. Bill Cullen, Jr., you read four. Shell fossil, I listened to the sea from long ago. Devar Dahl, you res three. The road home, swallows fly out both sides of the bridge. And L.B. Davidson, you res four. On the phone, my daughter and I watch different sunsets. <laughs> Ian Daw, you res four. Cracked mirror. Part of my face falls through. <clears throat> Bill Deegan, you res 10. Watch your ears chant. A rhythm in the handmade quilt. Heat wave. Pigeons work the puddle behind the falafel truck. Christian Deming, you read six. Alone now, no ruby slippers to take me home. Bruce Detrick, you read two. On chemo, watching my visitors eat the box of chocolates. <laughs> Susan Dirodoni, in Rose 8. The grain in his song tessellating the night. Connie Domlicott, in Rose 4. Potting shed, the scattered leaks of sunlight. George Dorsky, in Rose 3. Crow in a cornfield, so much to do. Curtis Dunlap, he rose five. Cycling with my son. This is the year I fall behind. <laughs> David Elliott, he rose one. The hike slows to a halt. Wild raspberries. <laughs> Jean Emmerich, he rose two. A weed in her garden. I stay my hand. <laughs> Efren Estevez, who rose four. Long after, the ch child's bicycle wheel still turning. Judson Evans, who rose two. Summer thunder. Slow knit of bone beneath the cast. Claire Everett, who res nine. Fiddleheads uncoiling all the time in the world. <laughs> Shannon Forbes, who res eight. Nest bright with a cardigan you left behind. Lauren Ford, you raise seven. Distant thunder, the future in my bones. Alice Frampton, you raise three. Wishing fountain outside the cancer clinic. Some heads, some tails. 
Terry L. French, who has 11. At the border of a repressed memory, gardenia blossoms. Cowbird's song, the adopted child brought home. Knit one, pearl two, grandma lets the secret slip. Joshua Gage, who is, who is 11. Summer heat, the frayed embroidery on her jeans. Chase Gagnon, in Rose 10. Busted knuckles, my father's blood mixing with mine. Jack Galmans, in Rose 4. Under the pier, the sea roars in. A woman, a man. Brenda Gannon, in Rose 4. After the funeral, slipping my bare feet into Dad's old shoes. Barry George, in Rose 2. Spelling test. The teacher's squeaky shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> Beverly George, in Rose 4. Train tunnel, the sudden intimacy of mirrored faces. The easy, in Rose 1. After joining our Malamutes howls, all of us feeling fresh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Robert Gilliland, New Rose 1. Autumn Wind, a brown bag still holding the bottle's shape. Kate S. Godsey, New Rose 9. All day sensing the plums ripen. It's you again. Brent Goodman, New Rose 11. Snowy owl swivels her gaze backward. End of winter. First crocus, my worn blue jeans wet in the knees. Tuning by ear the old acoustic October snow. Chris Gordon, New Res 1. I buy another book about non-attachment. <laughs> <laughs> David Grayson, New Res 6. Halloween party. After a few drinks, the masks come off. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea Rillo. Rose 6. Late night in the laundromat, stories still unfolding. K. Grimness, Rose 3. Thunderhead, a mass of starlings splits in two. Carolyn Hall, Rose 2. Hand in hand, how slowly the creek meanders. Jeffrey Harpen, New Res 3. Piercing cold, I force the rusty hinge. Michelle Harvey, New Res 8. Rainbow after rain, the bridge the jumper chose. John Hawk, New Res 8. All that could be summer clouds. Tia Haynes, New Res 11. Last day of school, chalk dust clings to the sunshine. Fall drizzle, wiping my hands after the final dish. Pressed flower, a memory I've forgotten to remember. Jeff Holland, you 
Rose 7. January thaw, the renewed vows of wild geese. Waterfall, her body shaped by water. All harm in row six. The talk we had to have early dusk. Mark Hollingsworth, you rose four. Nursing home, the feel of the handrail. Kara Holman, you rose nine. Hospice ward, the click of the door behind me. Elizabeth Howard, you rose one. Mountain evening, a raven sweeps down the spill of daylilies. John Hidden, who rose three. Shadow of the coffin longer than the grave. Keiko Izawa, who rose five. Ice skating into his hand my whole weight. Duro Jaye, who rose seven. Six year anniversary, her God stronger than mine. Jennifer Jensen, who rose one. Cluster of berries beyond my fingers clear blue sky. Jürgen Johansson, who res six. A ladybug, C5 to B4. <laughs> PMF Johnson, who res nine. Coyote howling for both of us, summer night. Colin Stewart Jones, who rose seven. Honey drips that would satisfy all. How sweet the rock. <clears throat> Elmadin Cottage, who rose ten. Her origami bird, I learned by unfolding. <laughs> Kirsty Karkow. He rose three. Alone again, the last raspberry sharp on my tongue. Arsangit Kaur, he rose one. Church bells, another car parks illegally. <laughs> Bill Kenny, he rose five. Groundbreaking. A construction worker picks his nose. New neighbor. I wonder how old she thinks I am. Great oak. Not as tall as I used to be. Michael Ketchik, you res one. Hi, morning mist. Only the roller coaster rises above the trees. Debbie Kalaji, who rose four. Christmas light test, trying to untangle last year. <laughs> Robert Cush, who rose two. Not knowing their names, not wanting to, a day of tall trees. Marcus Larson, who rose five. Autumn colors. We let mother lie about our childhood. Jessica Malone Latham. Crown of thorns. Things we make with our hands. Catherine J.S. Lee, who rose seven. Falling leaves, the clang of horseshoes in the crisp air. Marcus.
Marcus Billiadal in Rose 10. Distant thunder, the memories of my father all worn out. <clears throat> Rebecca Lilly in Rose 2. Autumn evening, yellow leaves cover the plot reserved for me. Eric Linsbach in Rose 7. Lightning flash, counting the seconds slower than my son. Burnell Libby, New Res 1. Allure reeled through pads, August afternoon. Chenu Yu, New Res 7. A deceased friend taps me on the shoulder, plum blossoms falling. Gregory Longenecker, who res nine. Music box somewhere inside yesterday. Eve Lockring, who res six. Super bloom poppies, trend jacked, in Seuss, Instagram bling. Read that one again. <laughs> Super Bloom Poppies Trend Jacked in Seuss Instagram Bling. Bob Lucky. <coughs> Bob Lucky following Eve Lockery. Cold, cold Drizzle. A good night kiss on my bald spot. <laughs> Paul M., also known as Paul Miller, who res to Owl Call, the coldness of gloves outside overnight. Anna Morris, who res 11. Above all, Skylark. Scott Mason. Rose 6. Sidewalk Cafe. On the list of specials, Yellow Tree Pollen. How Dear Materialize Twilight. Late December evening, a foxtail tapers to nothing. Dan McCullough, New Res 3. Spring rain, the owl pellet releases its bones. Tanya McDonald, New Res 7. The glances we share on the packed train. Swallow flight. Crescent moon, shallowing my breaths to hear the owl. Kestrel on an updraft, some of her ashes don't scatter. Joe McKeon, New Res 10. Retirement party. The cake knife slices through my name. The Christmas after we told them. Artificial tree. Flag draped casket. Three volleys fill the air with sparrows. Jonathan McCown, you res nine. Giving moss a place to gather, gully stones. John McManus, you res eight. Freshly baked bread, the face of a starving child fills my TV. Scott Metz, New Res 5. First spring bird. She says it before I do. Hmm. Fonda Bell Miller, New Res 7. Refusing to be forced for Cynthia. A.C. Messias, New Res 1. 
Park chessboard, rain caught in the missing squares. Ben Molaga, New Res 9. Wishbones, the way we split in two. Beverly A. Cuff, Lomoy, New Res 9. My biggest fears are nameless. Moons of Jupiter. Matt Borden, New Res 2. Mountain wind, the stillness of a lamb gathers crows. Ron Moss, New Res 4. Autumn wake, the widow's tremor in her coffee. H. Jean Murtha, New Res 6. Late warmth. A bee bounces around in a beer can. Pamela Miller Ness, New Res 2. After all these years, ankle deep in the other ocean. Peter Newton, New Res 8. Whatever happened, the star named for you registered somewhere. <laughs> Christina Wynn, New Res 8. Schadenfreude, the darkest dark chocolate. <laughs> Elliot Nicely, New Res 11. Halloween, death takes two pieces of candy. <laughs> Alona Oblock, New Res 9. Trails end, the sharp warmth of schnapps from a shared flask. Fumio Ogoshi, New Res 1. Spring bloom, a young girl singing beyond her range. <laughs> Bill Owen, New Res 2. Origami done, she folds her hands. Renee Owen, New Res 7. Needing no permission, sky blue Lupin. Roland Packer, New Res 6. As they were, as we are, Starry Night. Tom Painting, New Res 2. Snowmelt, the cascading notes of a canyon wren. Brent Partridge, New Res 1. A snowy daybreak. Everything's just different. Shades of violet. Christopher Patchell, New Res 3. Spring chill. Her yes sounds like no. Carl Patrick, New Res 1. Fireflies. My neighbor has more. <laughs> Jackie Pierce, New Res 11. Warm prairie breeze. The porter plays harmonica in the open door. Paul Pfluger, Jr., New Res 4. Distant lightning. The feel of a scar. Stella Perides, New Res 10. At last, the weight of my dreams. Greg Pico, New Res 7. If anyone asks, say I'm still writing. <laughs> the narrowing road. 
Thomas Powell, in Rose 9. Sun-touched gully, the wool and bones of a passing winter. Sandy Prey, in Rose 11. Seed catalog, the colors of a winter daydream. Into the owl, a night train's whistle fading. Wind music, a willow trembles with sparrows. Sharon Preddy, New Rose 11. Redwood Grove, the parts of my life I leave unspoken. Vanessa Proctor, New Rose 3. The dreamtime world of stars and moonlight, powerful owl. William Ramsey, New Rose 2. Slave Cemetery. I scrape the moss to find no name. Dave Reed, New Res 11. Night Twins, I let her go to voicemail. Andrew Ryuta, New Res 5. Apple Wine, is story better the second time. <laughs> Chad Lee Robinson, New Res 4. Prairie Storm, the darkness disperses as buffalo. Carolyn Rory, New Res 1. Friend's Wedding, at the church I become a saint. <laughs> Michelle Ruth Burnside, New Res 6. Time shifting luggage in the overhead bin. Dave Russo, New Res 5. Roasting a rattlesnake. We talk about girls. Old Beagle, asleep in the bluets. Distant jets. Out of the clouds, into our milk tea, strontium 90. Dan Schwerm, who res 8. Her name, the blue summer plate in my cupboard. Labyrinth steps, when your eyes let me in. Eggs in a shirt, to be here so lightly. Rob Scott, New Res 10. After the lullaby, her slow breathing, a lullaby. Dave Sargent, New Res 10. Lost in thought, a breeze I can't feel glows the embers. Shloka Shankar, New Res 10. Meaning what you mean, spring rain. Adelaide B. Shaw, New Res 3. Lost on a country road, cider at a stand. <laughs> Sandra Simpson, New Res 5. Skylark Song. The name on her headstone, almost gone. Brendan Slater, in Res 9. Dad and I, when the sea became the sea. William Sorley, in Res 9. When I was just a boy, I counted to a thousand summer clouds. Melissa Spur, New Res 7. Autumn Love, I let him feel my scar. R. 
A. Stefanik, New Res 1. Alone, a downdraft still stirs the ashes. Gary Steinberg, New Res 3. Cold rain, my bones become apparent. Lucas Stensland, New Res 8. A bartender I don't recognize knows my drink. <laughs> Carmen Sturba, New Res 4. Single living, I allow the tea kettle a full whistle. <laughs> Jeff Stillman, New Res 6. Raging blizzard, the gritted teeth of jumper cables. Richard Straw, New Res 6. Dark shoreline, one last cast with the wind. Andre Surridge, New Res 7. Night match, the scrum leaves behind its steam. Hilary Tan, New Res 8. No play. Watching the throat behind the mask. Tietmar Talkner, New Res 5. A black hole amidst the Milky Way are wars. Hadar Shukov, New Res 5. The pinhead, almost part of the butterfly. Hanshateki, you res 11. Last rites, I watch her eyes let go of me. Michelle Tennyson, you res 9. Just please. How to Forgive, Spring Rain. Scott Terrell, New Res 9. At the end of each second, a little jiggle. Angela Terry, New Res 11. Deep within a grove of redwoods, the birth of the wind. Tony A. Thompson, New Res 6. Evening C, I unloosen my tie at the pier's end. Jennifer Townsend, New Res 4. She tucks his letter into the folded flag on Independence Day. Els van Leeuwen, New Res 10. Moving day, a doll's house on the street. Julie Walker, New Res 9. After the last cherry blossom, leaves. Each place you've touched me ripples in the sand. Moonbeams holding a picture that can't hold back. Paul Watsky, New Res 1. His ashes scattered. What to do with the box? Lou Watts, New Res 11. Eighth day, I blow mum's skin from the pumice stone. 20 below, talking fish pepper soup with a cab driver. <laughs> Dust motes in a shaft of sunlight. We're losing her. Harriet West, New Res 5. Dusk, the girl we didn't like with fireflies in her hair. <laughs> 
Dick White, you res 10. Spring. I'll be better then. Billy Wilson, you res 3. Deepening snow. She leaves our atlas open to her homeland. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Winky, you res 2. Waking to the daily sameness, shoes neatly paired. Laura Young, you res 1. Time to dig the sweet potatoes. Still no word from you. Quandrith Young, you res 7. Salt spray. A taste of peat in my whiskey. <laughs> we could start over. Joan Zimmerman. <laughs> Joan Zimmerman. You res eight. Finding my place in the Asperger's spectrum. Winter rainbow. <clears throat> Thank you to all the new residents, poets. attendance and your attention and now you are honorary you read as community poets as well. Thank you for being here.